And uh, well, uh, with 40 days to the start of the 2023 Africa Games, um, Ghana is racing against time to complete the facilities for the competition. Now, the University of Ghana Stadium is expected to, expected to host the track and field event and is still incomplete despite the promised date of January 2024. Now, Joyce Wilson Tahiru visited the facility and has been monitoring the level of development at the place. Back in November last year, during a 100-day countdown event, Minister for Youth and Sports, Mustafa Yusuf, said all facilities would be completed and handed over by the end of December 2023. Contractors are all expected to hand over the facilities in December. And most of the contractors, especially the Games Village, the contractor is done. We are just waiting because some of the students are still here. That is why the contractor is still on site. Once the students leave, the contractor will put the finishing touches and the games. The University of Ghana has revised the academic, academic calendar for us to be able to host the game. This was a message re-echoed by chairman of the local organizing committee, Dr. Ofusu Asari, who went a step further to claim that January 2024 would be used to test the facilities. To Bortiman before, what you saw today, what does it tell you? It tells you that we have come, we've come very far and they are committed. They are working day and night, working around the clock and they have assured us that uh, come end of December, they're going to hand over the facilities to us. The same thing applies to Consa over here and my rooms where we're standing. And uh, they'll be handing over the facilities to us. And we'll use January and February to, uh, to carry out uh, the, the, the test. But at the end of January, no single facility has been fully completed and none has certainly been handed over. The Legon Sports Stadium will be the center of the Africa Games. It will be the host of the track and field event, which is the biggest attraction of the 26 sporting disciplines that will take place here in Accra. But with 40 days to the start of the competition, very important aspects of the stadium infrastructure remains uncompleted. And despite contractors working day and night, there is a critical nervous race against time to finish the project. Grounds have been prepared for the tartan tracks to be laid, and despite the tartan material arriving weeks ago, the actual laying has yet to begin inside the stadium. And that work could take weeks to finish. Groundsmen are also still busy restoring the pitch, which will host football games as well as field events. Aspects of the VIP area appear completed, with public announcement speakers fixed. But metal fabrications, painting, installation of critical power lines, fixing of sanitary wares are all still ongoing. The story is no different outside of the stadium. Access routes around the facility as well as the car parks have all yet to be completed. At the warm-up track, where the laying of the Tartan trucks has begun in earnest, work seems to be progressing slowly. As you can see, these are rows of Tartan obviously in all these white uh, wrapped uh, envelopes if you like and the laying it's already ongoing as you probably can see so these rolls of titan once they get rolled over you have the actual titan truck and this is very standard standard manufacturing from mundo mundo are world leaders in the manufacture of truck uh, equipment and there are officials from Mundo here who are working to ensure this truck is up to speed. I've been told this would be completed in the next one week. And after that, they will now move to the stadium. The field on the Womack truck looks green. Floodlights have also been installed. But other critical facilities like the long jump pit remain undone. Over 5,000 elite athletes are expected in Ghana in 40 days to compete in the 26 sporting disciplines earmarked for these games. Two months ago, Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia was special guest of honor at the 100-day countdown event. And after a tour of the facilities, he was convinced Ghana was ready to host the best ever games. There is a time for everything. And this is our time. It is possible. Ghana is now ready, willing, and capable to organize and host Africa in the biggest sporting competition on the continent. 
the government and people of Ghana are honored to have been given the opportunity for which reason work has been ongoing assiduously since 2018 and his staff. And yet, despite the confidence of the country's authorities, the glaring delays are hard to ignore. It's no surprise then that Dr. Asari is turning to spirituality, counting on God Almighty to come true for the country. Everything in this world has its time, and God's time is the best. This is the time God has dedicated or assigned to Daniels to host the African Games. Dr. Nkrumah was part of the founding fathers. You can imagine 1965. Why hasn't it been possible for Ghana to host the Games? This is our time. This is our opportunity. We have to take advantage of the opportunity, make the most of the opportunity. That's all we have for you on Prime Sports now with me, Razak Musbah. We've got more stories for you on myjoyonline.com. After next is PM Express, please do stay tuned.